Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is BNHA Second Generation Chapter 24, and this one is titled All Aboard the Fields Trains. So this is going to be a good chapter. He loves me. He loves me. Hyoko screamed to himself as he shot back through the skies to the agency building. How long has he felt this way? What do I say back? All the memories of Kana came flooding back to him as he flew. The first day that they'd met in kindergarten to the fun that they'd had in high school, right through to their graduation and decision to open an agency together. There wasn't a moment in their lives that they hadn't shared together. I can't imagine my life without Kana in it, Yoko thought as he alighted on the roof of the agency. When I think about it, we've been close for ages. Really close. His mind cast over all the times he thought Kana was hot, not quite understanding that his feelings were romantic. Do I love Kana back? Why have I never thought of this before? I mean, I just want to be with him all the time, and I feel lost without him by my side. Hyoko's mind was in turmoil, ruminating over all these submerged feelings that were now bubbling to the surface as he suddenly was forced to recognise them and label them. His steps faltered and he stopped. Kana! He suddenly remembered that he had left Kana hanging with no reply to his confession, standing alone outside his childhood home. Oh, crap! Spinning on the balls of his feet, he took off running towards the edge of the building and threw himself off, flicking his wings open and banking hard to the right, back the way he'd come. Oh crap, I hope he's still there. He's either there or heading home, he thought, wind whipping through his hair as he sped through the skies. As he got closer to his parents' house, his eyes focused into the distance, trying to locate his friend. Kana wasn't outside the house anymore. Oh crap, his car's gone too, Hyoko grunted with frustration, tilting his wings hard to hold himself midair. His keen eyes flicked across the scenery below, trying to see if he could spot Kana's car. In the distance, he caught sight of the tail lights as Kana turned left out onto a main road, heading for his apartment. Hiyako tucked his wings back and plummeted to the ground, deploying them at the last minute to stop his fall and chase Kana. Wanting to shout his friend's name to get him to stop, Hiyako opened his mouth, but then immediately swallowed his words when he remembered that all the shouting in the world would get him nowhere. Approaching the car rapidly from behind, the winged hero tipped his feathers ever so slightly and just grazed the roof of the car, landing swiftly on top before grabbing onto the roof racks. Kana, at feeling something move his car, swerved a little on the road, looking around to see if he could see what was going on. Kana! Hyoko finally shouted, all of his pent-up emotions causing him to let his voice out, despite knowing that his friend wouldn't be able to hear him. The sensing hero looked up at the roof of his car, he had felt the vibrations of a voice above him and so activated his quirk, gathering information of the topography immediately around him. At seeing, in his mind's eye, the topography of a winged being on the roof of his car, he slowed and pulled over, certain it was Hyoko. What are you doing? Kana signed emphatically once he'd gotten out of his car and looked back up onto the roof at Hyoko. Choosing not to put a feather on Kana's shoulder, Hyoko held his hand up, panting harshly as he showed the same sign. I love you, signed back to his friend. Kana burst into tears of relief, covering his face with embarrassment as he sobbed into his hands. Hey, don't cry, Yoko cajoled, jumping down onto the ground beside Kana and placing a hand on his shoulder. Why are you crying? Happy, Kana signed, pulling his hands down from his face so he could gently bump his palms together, a quivering smile on his face. The pair embraced, hugging each other tightly before pulling back. Kondo! Someone called from nearby. Smile! Hyoko quickly looked over and saw bystanders there with their phones out, recording the interaction between the partnered heroes. Oh crap! Hyoko screamed into the feather on Kana's shoulder, making Kana jump and look in the direction that Hyoko was looking. I didn't really want an audience. Go, Kana, I'll deal with these people. I'll meet you at your place. Did you want to meet at agency? Kana signed quickly. Actually, yeah, good thinking, Hyoko replied through the feather before stepping in front of the sensing hero. You go, I'll hold them off for a bit. Hyoko didn't look back to see if Kana had replied him, but instead pasted a brilliant smile on his pretty face as he approached the filming group of onlookers. It's late, he said in a happy tone as he walked over. Time for you all to be heading home. What was that all about, Condor? One asked. Did you and Kana have a fight and then make up just then? No, Hyoko said with a smile. We're just mucking around. Sorry to have alarmed any of you. If I could respectfully ask for that footage to be deleted, that would be wonderful. He added, trying not to act too desperate. Why do you want it deleted, though? Another asked suspiciously. 
Paparazzi make a lot of money off random footage like this, and sometimes it can get misconstrued, he stated calmly, putting on airs of matter-of-factness. I wouldn't want anyone getting the wrong ideas about it, like you thought we had a fight. Anyone could come up with anything from that video. That's true, someone else agreed. I'll delete mine now, they added with a smile. Much appreciated, Condor said with an another pleasant grin. Please excuse me, I've work to do. He stepped back and opened his wings, shooting up into the sky and away back to the agency. Oh man, I really hope that footage doesn't make it to the news. Kana and I have only just admitted our love for each other. We're not... Okay, I'm not ready for the paparazzi to be hounding us for relationship details. I haven't even told mum and dad yet. Oh god, Brian and Anthony are going to be so happy. Wait, did they already know about Kana and that he was going to tell me that he liked me? His mind was once again flipping over itself, but his heart was full, content with the decision that he had made. Yay, happy days. Stay tuned for the next chapter coming tomorrow. See you there.